Let's see, I got my little lapel mic, so I'm gonna try to up my production quality these times. <laughs> it's just, oh, you're so busy and you're so lazy and you're just like editing videos takes a lot of time. So <clears throat> now, since I have everything loose fitted, I'm gonna square up the table. And in order to do that, I'm gonna go through and tighten all the bolts from end to end and then take my Harbor Freight digital angle gauge and set it on one side, zero it out, move it to the other, and then make adjustments until the digital angle finder reads zero on both of the, what would you call this? X direction rails? Yeah. <clears throat> and that should at least make sure the two rails are in plane. And then once they're in plane, then uh, when I hook up my router attachment, I should be able to bolt uh, or clamp some kind of sacrificial material to the, the, the router bed and then plane it with the head of the router. And then I know that I'll have a plane to, to uh, put my material on that's in the machine coordinate system. So it sounds really good in my head. I don't know what kind of tolerances I'll be able to hold with that. Uh, I know some other people on YouTube who were using the router attachment on their Premier plasma table said they were having some issues. And we know with the plasma cutter head, whether or not it's in plane isn't that big of a deal. The tolerances on these holes and parts were pretty good. So it's not all like loosey goosey floppy. There's a little tweaking I might be able to do when setting up the table, but actually not a whole lot as tight as these bolts fit. So yeah, let's run through tightening and then check our angles and see how good we do right out the box. All right, I got everything tightened up. Let's see how we did. All right, so we'll zero it out. All right, calibrated the digital angle finder at zero degrees. Swap to the other rail, Let's see what we got. 0 0.1 degrees this way. 0.2 degrees this way, all right. So uh, loosen that side, lift it up, try to lift it up and tighten it again, see if we can get, uh, get that 0 0.1, 0 0.2 degree discrepancy corrected. Now I did some swapping, let's, uh, let's try it again. All right, so zero degrees, all right, cool. Put it in the center there. What are we reading? Zero degrees, all right. So at least as far as our digital angle finder is, both rails are pointing at the same angle. So this direction of travel should all be in plane. Next, we're gonna get our, uh, our carriage, kind of hook that on there and that's how it's gonna go. So I gotta tighten up all these bolts. So you're supposed to hold it this direction, tighten everything up. And uh, these have slots in them, so you're supposed to tighten these last by putting, while well, putting pressure on it. So we're gonna clamp this down, something like that. That ought to be good, and that's a nice, interesting, uh, yeah, clamp. So these, uh, these are just, I think these are just generic skateboard bearings. The I can't remember what the number is on them, but the probably the world's most made bearings, which is one of the reasons that I chose this table is because <clears throat> the parts should just be very generic and I can order them or get them readily available, the motors and everything too. Um, if anything breaks, I don't have to rely on whatever company to supply me with proprietary parts since it's all like open market stuff. So that's kind of nice. So yeah, let's get this tightened down and get our cross, uh, what, what would you call this? This is the A slash Y axis, I think is what the manual said. X axis and then Z axis. So we'll throw the gantry on there, get all this going, nice. So this is a tricky bit, because you're supposed to hold that tight while tightening them. So you really need like three hands. I guess I'll just kind of apply pressure and do the best I can while this thing's wobbling all the wampus.
Yep, that's uh, definitely not a machine track, because this is just freaking mill scale, so this is what it is. Let's get it all together and see what it do. Now that I got the little roller bearings on, I uh, was putting the gantry bolts in and realized that I probably want to flip the gantry around, because the motor will sit on the side with the gears, and the Z-axis motor will sit over here if it's this way. I want it flipped around so I can watch the torch head go up and down and cut without all this in the way so that's what we're going to do a little work forward a little work backwards the instructions were not super clear so uh yeah if you're going to buy this know what the hell you're doing or you'll wind up like me taking shit apart and putting it back together again so that's awesome so that's kind of moving there now and then i got this gantry on there no motor attached well z-axis motors on there so now it's going to be clamping this and tightening all these bearings get that nice and then we can start running wiring from all of our motors so we'll finish this video out with the phone because my gopro died so now i have a rat's nest of wiring so i got the uh i think this is the torch height controller with the z-axis motor and i got my plasma torch mocked up and this the instructions were just garbage when it comes to this there were no instructions it's like it didn't come with the right size bolts to these spacers and bolts it said for the wire chain but here's the wire chain this bracket all right that makes sense I could figure that out without instructions and then these and then these but surely the spacers didn't go there where that bolt is to space this up and then cantilever this off of that that wouldn't support anything so anyways that's what I did and uh, yeah, you can kind of see where where that bolt is there and uh, yeah not real good instructions so you got this wire you know coming under here and then the wire chain where it can unfold when you put the axis that way <sighs> yeah, that's as far as I made it tonight and then this piece goes somewhere maybe but none of these holes really match up to anything and the instructions don't say anything about this piece so I'm not really sure what it's intended to do yeah so you just got to make it up make it how you want it don't rely on the instructions if you're relying on the instructions you're gonna be like SOL on putting this thing together